Gotta say is Hassan Campbell is 47 years old and that nigga lost his motherfucking mind. In today's time of just this hood culture and younger niggas will kill you quick. There's no guidance no more with guns. There's no strategicness with guns. None of that. For this grown ass man to go get shot in a damn neighborhood that he don't even live in and he antagonizing the area. I would have threw a motherfucking bottle at the nigga too if I heard somebody yelling out my motherfucking window. Light skinned nigga with all fucking pink. I believe bro had on pink or something. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? I throw a shut the fuck up is what that is. And then New York people are different. I would have been upstairs all type of shit throwing fucking bottles. I would have been out the window. Shut the fuck up. Out there yelling and shit. My baby in here sleeping and shit. And then you know how baby did. Because they hear this nigga out there yelling and shit. Screaming and hoot hollering and all that. Nigga 47, he gets shot in his motherfucking arm. And his accomplishment and the whole thing, his words, I held it down. Held what the fuck down? When people who analyze risk would say, nigga, that was a risky situation. Who do that? Then you got your mans back there. Then, like, let's fast forward to the whole situation. The bro had his homeboy in the hospital while he laying in a motherfucking bed. People don't talk about that. Your homeboy is in that motherfucking chair sitting down stressed out. He over there sleeping like that and shit. You think, nigga, you ain't telling the, that little ass hospital room. You got to think of that, too. You got to think about that, too. That was a little ass hospital room. Hold on, because see, I'm in the hood area right now. Let me hurry up and go get my shit real motherfucking quick before I get a little bit too comfortable talking. Hold on real quick. This is what you should have been. You got to get the fuck on. If you go to a store, you go any spot, you shouldn't be in no spot where it's like, this a hood area. You got to go quick, quick. Now, I'll be praying to God. I got to sit up there and say that, too, because I'm sitting up here in my current life. I say, you know what? I'll be praying to God. God say don't worry about nothing. Now, I say this from real stories. I have some stories where let me go in the store real quick. Hold on. All right. Anyway, getting back to Hassan Camel Soup. Nigga, you got to get in and get out. Can't be sitting around these damn spots a whole new time. And I learned this when I was young. Because I've seen older people literally lose their lives by hanging with the younger generation from a neighborhood. And they think they cool because they OGs. And, and, and they should be cool because they, they know their era of what we would say is enemies and all that people that go around, whatnot. If they make it an old age, you don't got to deal with that. But younger generations from just a scenario of how I put things together, seeing younger dudes pretty much take the lives of these older people is they're vulnerable nigga you don't have the quickness that you got bro i'm 30 years old fucking knees bothering me and shit anybody remember like when you was young you used to swing at the air play fighting and all that shit like just to see if you still got it see if you quick well i threw a jab and almost threw my motherfucking shoulder i said ooh. I said, I got to be mad. That's what it is. Like, a nigga going to have to hit me for me to be mad to bypass all that shit. Or, like, it'll just have to be adrenaline pumping. Like, I can't even get the adrenaline to pump. Probably at some time, like, if I feel like, oh, fuck, let me just, you know, shadow box with there, see if I still got it. Practice these moves, this little certain hit I got, the, the trigger nigga. Getting old, bro. I be getting up off the motherfucking couch. Ain't no quick shit. Like, like my energy is reserved for when it's like a real emergency. Like, fucking last night, the Mexicans on the street popped off a firework. All I heard was, I, I woke up quick as fuck. I said, okay, it's a firework. Like, chill out. It's a firework. Bow! Heard the boom, all that shit. Anyway, getting back to bro. Getting shot in today's time is, is like, not worth it. It's not. Then it's like, let's look at the whole maturity of the situation. The hospital is finna send you a bill, stupid man. You're gonna have to talk to, nigga, you got health insurance. I'm pretty sure the money you make, you're gonna have to get on the phone call and all that to make sure all this shit get covered. You had to sign documents. Well, you just told the homeboy to sign the documents on your behalf. Cause I've been back and forth with the hospital with my dad and shit. It be time I gotta sign shit and all type of shit or they call me. So what is that? You get shot or you injured and bullet went out the back. You tell homeboy and he can sign on my behalf. You think your homeboy want to go through some shit like that? 
Then there was, it was another clip that I seen. This lady said that Hassan phone kept ringing and shit. And he wasn't even answering it. Hold on. Yeah, so anyways, Hassan camera phone ringing. He getting messages. He not even answering. Then this dude in the background, he get a message. He answers his phone. Then there's some people coming from the back. That should go to show. Like, when you seen them niggas running up, they was not running up with knives. And you who that? And you got, you, this nigga man, this man damn near ran to his phone. Quick. Dipped out the scene of the whole little camera catching the little whole little moment. You see the dudes in the background. That mean your ass don't need to be there. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now, damn, I think God ain't got more mature. And I'm telling you, when I was young, but see, I don't know. I don't think, I don't need a situation. Nah, I've done some stupid shit. I've done some stupid ass shit. I'd probably just sit there, w -w 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 hold on, who do you think? What's happening? Boy, but that see, time was different. These time, these niggas is coming to shoot. Then you gotta understand, you 47. Generations change. Nigga, this ain't this. Like, see, you probably in an imaginary world of thinking the niggas who, like, this your neighborhood. I don't know if that was his old neighborhood or something. I don't know what the fuck that was. Or I don't even know the context really of the situation. If what niggas say he can't go there. Because that's what I heard. Like, people say that he, he can't be over there. It's a new generation of young niggas in today's time. These niggas is tapped in with social media. Soon as you pop up in that hood, niggas is dropping comments like a motherfucker. Hey, they in your hood. Then like these, I don't know what it is. It ain't like fans in this situation. It's like, like people be getting alerts like a motherfucker. Hey, Hassan over there. Hassan over there. Hassan over there. Like, come on. Then it got to be some type of algorithm that Hassan is on for him to even go over there. That like prep the situation. So it's like, obviously it was, he can't be over here. Bam. So the energy is already over there. The niggas from over there probably already heard or seen something. They be up over there. So it's like, oh, he triggering over here and all that. Yeah, he better not come over here. And then you pop up over there. Now they know you up over there. Just give it some time. It'd it be a delay and shit. Like, for example, I say it like this to give a, a, a better explanation. I was watching a TV show like some weeks ago virtually with my ex-girlfriend bam she wanted to feel like we was connected together so we watched the same show on netflix she where she at i'm where i'm at we trying to press play at the same time to pretty much play the movie so that way we feel like we really watching it together i hear her shit my shit like way quicker than hers and then i hear hers catching up so pretty much it was cool in that situation because it's like I already seen the part that she's talking about so it's like when she's speaking on it, like, oh, did you see him jump this? As an example, you seen him jump the fence? It was something about this house. Like, dude went up to the house, they yelled at him. I already seen that part. So it's like, yeah. So I say that to say that like, it's a delay. Like, you already over there in these niggas' neighborhood. Just give about 15, maybe 20 minutes to where it's like, oh, he up over there. And then they see it. Oh, let's, let's see if that nigga's still over there. That's what that was. Simple as that. That motherfucking knife you had wasn't finna do nothing. Nigga, I mean, if I was a resident there, this nigga tell the dude who come out, keep it moving and shit, he got a knife. Who is this crazy ass man outside? Don't nobody know you. It's too much legal shit going on. It's too motherfucker. Everybody in that whole complex got a bill. You outside not thinking about one motherfucking bill that's due. Sitting out there talking about you or come up there. This nigga, it is utility dude, rent motherfucking dude. All type of shit, do Phone bill, Wi-Fi, stupid man. You're connected to a bill in today's time, nigga. So, I mean, damn. You ever get like a text message? I be getting text messages every day from my motherfucking phone company on rewards, this and that. Look at how much shit you got to pay to put yourself in a dumb situation. That don't cost nothing, but it's going to cost when that freedom get taken the fuck away. This nigga crazy. Or, or just worse, if you die. Then it's like, okay, what? Like, the way that Hassan was out there, nigga, he should have been out there. I got an insurance policy for two million, nigga. Wish niggas would try something, nigga. I got beneficiaries set in line and all that, nigga. My kids gonna be good. I die today. Well, like what? How you can't be an aggressor in no environment that like you pretty much gotta cope to the environment. That's why when man got shot, they had to get, what he had to do? Go straight to the motherfucking hospital. No choice. That's why people understand these bullets don't give a fuck. And you get hit with a bullet, they oh, I think I got hit. 
That nigga was saying, this bullet's just getting hot. It wouldn't be getting hot if your ass was not on the motherfucker's block. Stay out. Like, come on, bro. It don't make sense. And you're 40 fucking 70. I'm pretty sure this nigga's a papa. I'm pretty motherfucking sure he a papa. This nigga over here saying I held it down. Held down what? God held it down. Nigga, you got to live another motherfucking day, nigga. That would teach me. Oh, yeah, I ain't taking my ass up over there no more, boy. I mean, I can understand, like, maybe, like, like you know, like, today, in today's time, shit be quick. Back then, you could pop up on nigga shit. And sometimes it still happened today. Pop up on nigga shit. They not outside type shit. I don't know. But these young niggas, boy, I put it like this. This, this, this is growing off true shit. A lot of young niggas are more aggressive than the generation before. I mean, what do you think is going to happen if it's like a situation where the younger generation look up to the OGs? And then the OGs, some of them might be about it, but a lot of them aren't. And this is going off of real shit where it's like some shit had popped off. My other went to the OG. Oh, it ain't, oh, it ain't like that. You know? Certain people not about that type of time. I'll put it like that to make it just because that's what the reality of the situation was back then. But certain people are not on that damn time. Everybody different. So in that situation, what end up popping up? Uh, motherfuckers are civil minded. Oh, there's some real shit going on. Well, hold on. Hold on. We got to think this through. What's going on? Nigga, there's some shit going on. Hold on. What's going on? So anyway, bro, need to think twice about a whole bunch of shit. Because I mean, like, just getting to the whole point, like, damn. I heard something in the car about the ambulance, getting to the ambulance. Boy, that is a fee. I've been dealing with my dad back for the last couple of years. He's been having health issues. He don't even like going on there. They're going to charge. Got to do it. So it's like, nigga, it's, 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 it's financial responsibility that's on the line. You done got your ass. You done... You then cost your own self some money, Hassan. You know, if you got a good insurance plan, that's cool because the insurance will pay for it. But it's like, nigga, you went out there hooping and hollering and shit. You ain't tell the doctors that. What's going on, Mr. Campbell? Yeah, I was out on a block, doc. Yeah, I was out on a block. Where that motherfucking knife went? I bet you that motherfucking knife ain't here. It's possible it could have went to the hospital because hospitals ain't, it ain't like they scanning you down and all that shit. Where the knife went? Hassan was not the motherfucking victim. This, as far as we know, them niggas was trying. Them niggas who came over there and shot his ass in that motherfucking arm was trying to protect the residents. That's their little hood. That's not supposed to be. They you don't come to these motherfuckers' hood. It was ain't no bad of used to be over here. You just time to change, nigga. It's time to go. I think th them niggas probably seen the nigga throwing a bottle. Hey, hey, nigga, we ain't trying to be on that time. Nigga, throw a bottle out the motherfucking window. They probably called their home, but throw a motherfucking bottle out the window. Cuz or blood or New Yorkie or whatever he was. I'm going to say it. Got you. Bow! You tried to clink that nigga in the head. Had it been me throwing bottles out that motherfucker? Boy, the first... If I... I ooh, I would have been tired of... Nigga, keep moving right that. I'm going to get one of these motherfucking bottles, nigga. Boy, I'm going to dink that motherfucker in his head. That's all he needed was a good dink on the motherfucking head. That's what they were trying to do. Dink you, dink some motherfucking sense in that man. Sitting out there yelling and all that shit. Ain't nobody telling, ain't no telling what type of time it was. School day, people, this nigga, I would have been throwing shit too. You talking all this killing shit and, and slicing and, and all this murderous shit. I know the people on the first floor hear that shit. So if I'm up here and I'm throwing shit... Boy, you got to be out there talking like that. And then, you know how niggas be. Like, why is you out there yelling? I can see, like, like you, like, imagine you look out the motherfucking window. Like, what? Uh, hold on. How the fuck did he even get to Hassan getting over there? Because, see, we in these camera times. What, this nigga went live over there? Like, like, damn, you drove your grown old ass papa ass over there and went live and just... Cut the camera on. This nigga, your camera set up, nigga. You got battery percentage that's dying because you out here wasting time and all that shit. You wasted your phone battery on that. That on a day like that, you wasted your phone battery on a day like that. Set that motherfucker up. Had it posted to where you can go out there and Scooby Yabba Doo out there for nothing. 
Then it's like, okay, shit turned real. It's time to go to the hospital. You held what down? It ain't like you took the book. Uh, nigga got this shit in my arm, nigga. Niggas got me. That shit was taped up. They didn't gave you medication. That, that nigga had an IV in his hand. Come on, man. A lot of people aren't demons. Y'all don't have that demon in you, that aggressiveness. You niggas are self-defense niggas. You can hear it. And it's nothing wrong with being a self-defense type of nigga. That's what that situation was with Hassan. Somebody threw a bottle at his motherfucking ass. His context of conversation, self-defense. Because if he was really on that type of time, he would have went up there. No, it's just talking. It's just, oh, I'll come up there and drag your mother out. Duh. I'm sitting up there. What the fuck that got to do with why you outside yabba-dabbing and that shit? Nigga, like, there ain't nobody did nothing to you. Nobody, boy. Nobody, this, this, boy, you are about two and a half, maybe three, to you close to 50. Make it make sense. Make it make any type of damn sense. Hassan Campbell. And it, it, like, then the thing, too, because it's like everybody can agree that this man make good money. He got to. He's been on YouTube for a cool minute. I've been seeing videos of him for years. He got to monetize. He's making good money. Make it make sense. Now, like, maybe it was for content. Maybe that's what the fuck it was. Maybe it was for content. Well, I, I guess I would say so for content. Fuck that. Don't put your life on the line for no content like that. But anyway, I ain't finna be yapping too damn much about this man. He didn't got shot in the arm, went out his back. I don't know if he ever been shot before, but it's giving me kid vibes. Like, I got shot, still alive. I held it down, y'all. Like, I held it down. Then he had the knife. Self-defense type situation. Even when the dude walked up, them people over there litter, they trying to know what's going on. You over there to keep it moving. Fucking knife out and shit. Well, and, and today's time, you got to call the police. I ain't even going to cap. But I, I would have been on the dude. I would have threw a motherfucking bottle out that motherfucker. I would have threw a water bottle, though. Because I'm going to throw a you know, motherfucking water bottle. I like throwing shit, too. I mean, be these motherfucking cats. I be dinking these cats. Take your ass on. That shouldn't happen. The cats be having fights and shit. I don't want to hear all that meow, meow, scrapping and shit. Who the fuck? What's going on? Outside the window, figure out what cat it is. All right. Catch that motherfucker. Walking when it ain't paying attention. Dink. Throw water. I don't fuck the couple cats. So I ain't cats. So that would have been me out there aiming. Hearing this loud nigga out there yelling outside my window. Because it, it, it ain't everybody just grown in Hassan age that live in them damn complexes. It's kids. It's all type of shit. And some people don't want to hear all that yelling. I don't know what time it was. It couldn't have been afternoon. I don't know what time it was. But it's like, that nigga out here yelling and shit, tripping with a motherfucking do-rag on, a hat, and, and, and braids, and, and nigga. I know that nigga took a shower that day. You clean man, you. Sitting out here yelling and shit. This nigga clean and a motherfucker out here yelling like, you don't got no business being over here. Go home. Nigga, you got a home. I'm pretty sure a motherfucking house. I'm pretty sure this nigga got a house with a mortgage. He probably got some equity. He got to. You got some equity. You're like, come on, man. Like, imagine if the all eyes was on you. Fucking mortgage people see you. Why are you even doing that? Taxes is coming up. Property taxes, Mr. Campbell. What's going on? Your homeowner's insurance and all this. What is going on? This nigga probably got a financial advisor. You out here want to do hood rat things with your friends, and your friend don't want to be in that shit. He over there in the chair tired. Nigga, I'll be mad as fuck. That's all they giving in here. This nigga got all this money. I'ma think this nigga got all this money, man. This, what is this? Cause the way that hospital rooms look, the nigga they ain't even give for room and board. Them room and board fees for hospital be expensive. I've been seeing it with my dad. I don't know where that man was at, but. They don't got like a couch where I can sit. They got this little ass chair. <sighs> well, we in a triage or something. I'm tired. I got to stick it out with my friend. Support my friend. Dude wasn't even talking. He wasn't even on. Y'all nigga shot my friend. He wasn't on none of that. He was over. Uh, he pretty much. He fucking tired. That's why he's back there sleeping and shit. Because I saw him pretty much. Come on. I don't know. I saw him one of them niggas. Come on. He ain't even riding up over here. That's his best friend probably. You got to tell your mother, bro, calm the fuck down, nigga. 
calm down. If, if you got a fuck your best friend up, you, you might. Hassan might be one of them aggressive niggas back in the young days. This is how it was. This true shit with me and my best friend. I realized I said, because see, when I was young, you better fuck my best friend up. We done got older. And I realized... Yeah, I don't think I got it anymore. He, he probably, he, he, he probably fucking nigga. Or it'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be. It's hard to tell. I have to grapple this big ass nigga. Cause I got my best friend. He's six foot something. Can't underestimate the nigga. Can't underestimate the nigga. And I say that too, going off a real story with my nephew. I always tell a story about that. I just fuck my nephew. It was just the nigga didn't fuck because I was small. You got that little man syndrome. Put a tax on the nigga and, and shock me, and then it turned into nigga. I'm your uncle, nigga. Don't ever put your hands on me, nigga. It turned into that crying. I only cried because this nigga started crying because he felt bad because he shocked me by tearing my ass up. So it's like, maybe Hassan, best friend, got to beat his ass. No matter if y'all 40, 50, tell that nigga, nigga, let me tell you something, nigga. Nigga, I got kids and shit, nigga. I can't be out here doing all this shit, riding around with you, nigga. My daughter at school, whatnot, nigga. All this shit, nigga, you lose your life. Where them policies at, nigga? I heard tripping like this. You got.